Christina, and I am here to share with you our first challenge from the first ever season of NTNA OPI All-Stars. That's right, so there's 10 of us. They sent us a list of 10 different color names and we were to choose one on a first come first serve basis and bring that color to life. OPI is known for their super interesting names of polishing. I immediately chose Black Onyx. Um, let's face it, I like black. It's my favorite color. So let's dig into the video and I'll share with you some really cool nail art skills. I was really excited to start my project because Google taught me a lot about black onyx and I am excited to share it with you. So onyx is naturally formed from calcite in caves around the world. When the water drips from the end of stalagmites and stalactites, it collects and then forms these bands. So I decided to create a design like that on six of my nails. This is my main design. You layer black onyx and alpine snow, and then you file away at it to create this picture here. But I wanted to give it a little bit of extra, so I decided to add these small bands. And then I also wanted to build it up to create sort of a stalagmite shape, only a little bit prettier, you know, for nails. Use a clear acrylic and all of your sweet little OPI things. I've had that dappen dish since, since nail school, so I had to use it. You wanna create, well, actually you can create bulk any way that you feel comfortable. However, I decided to move side to side and then I added a little bit more on the top. You can start by hand filing. If you wanna use an electric file as well, you can. But when you hand file, you can really get a feel for how to get that really sharp edge and um, you can control it a little bit more. I added this facet in the back, which I think is a really cute idea because it also um, unearthed these bands in the cuticle area, which gave it a little bit more oomph. I top coated, but I used very thin layer because you don't want to lose your facets. Anytime you have anything that's faceted, you don't want to you don't want to really cover it with top coat. Just kind of wisp it over the top there. Black onyx is very big in the jewelry world too, so I saw a lot of that when I was researching, and I also have a couple pieces of black onyx jewelry, um, and so I decided to create these in a long rectangular shape and keep that flat top like a lot of the black onyx jewelry is, like you see here. So I built up my bulk with the black acrylic in black onyx, and then I filed away at it using my e-file because it was pretty bulky. Um, but then I ended up, of course, hand filing. You want to take your sides off and file them sort of upwards so that you're coming almost to a point, but you're leaving that top flat, and then file back the ends and you can feel where it needs more filing and where you need less filing. And same thing with the top coat. Go easy on it. That is beautiful. Onyx is said to be used to fight basic fears. The Romans associated onyx with courage and it's thought to be useful when one is defending his or herself against unfair criticism. So I decided to create this cute little bowl. Um, I used a mold and then I carved it and placed these little nuggets of black onyx acrylic inside to, to look like actual black onyx stones. And then I added some other cute little crystals just to give it a little bit more depth and um, excitement. Going back to the jewelry world, we have cameos from way back. I think cameos are beautiful and I never knew that, I knew that they were black and white, but in, I never associated it with the stone onyx. So because they are banded, it was easy for them to just carve away at the top black layer to produce the white image and detail it with um, carving tools and, and whatever else they used. I decided to place my acrylic over top of my cameo piece and then I did actually build up some bulk on the face so that I could go around and create um, some definition with my e-file so in a sense it's 
it's half of an actual cameo. I really enjoy carving in acrylic. I think it's it's fun to, to watch everything take shape. And I just wanted to add some bling to it to make it more jewelry-fied. The name onyx comes from the Greek word for fingernail. How amazing is that? Makes my choice even better. According to myth, Cupid trimmed the nails of the sleeping goddess Venus. The fates turned those clippings into stone to prevent even a part of Venus from dying. The black onyx gemstone is said to be associated with the planet Saturn, and it is the birthstone for the Leo, the zodiac sign. It is a soothing stone and is good for wearing, especially during times of emotional turmoil. The black onyx gemstone is worn to release any sort of negativity from a person and I decided to create a galaxy background. So I just pick a few colors and then mesh them in together and put some smoky white in there too. You can move it around any way you want. To create your Leo constellation, you just use thin bands and pull them side to side um, of acrylic. And my mom gave me some crushed up pyrite to add to my design. My mom works with stones and she makes really beautiful jewelry. And here's the finished project. I absolutely love them. Um, I love everything about them. I wish I could wear them, but it was very hard to even do anything with those on for the few seconds that I had them on. I hope you enjoyed my video today. I sure enjoyed making it. I can't wait to get on to the next one. Don't forget to vote.